Crystal. Stay down, buddy. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. Today's video is going to be pretty unique. We're here at the Hawking River, Southeast Ohio, and I'm going to be trying some of our saltwater plastics, saltwater presentations for freshwater rivers, creeks, streams, whatever I fish down here, but I'll be using the Nico Shrimp. They're about two and a half inches long. They're pretty much a highly detailed Ned Rig. So we're gonna walk the Hawking River and see what kind of fish we can't catch on the shrimp today. Ugh, I'm excited. I'm excited to try these here in the fresh water. I told the guys when I was down there because I've never seen them in person before. And when I seen them down there at the show, I was like, these are gonna crush bass, smallmouth bass in the rivers and creeks around Ohio. Because we do have fairy grass shrimp uh, grass shrimp species in Ohio more so in the Ohio River um, but I'm pretty sure any fish is gonna see the shrimp on a Ned Rig hook and gobble it up so we're gonna give it a shot down here at the Hawking River stay tuned for the action let's see if we can't catch some fish today guys let's go alrighty everyone before we get started today we'll do a quick gear check got my 610 medium fast action on my 2500 Daiwa Kage 10 pound braid I'm gonna do 10 pound fluorocarbon it's summer pool here on the Hawking River, so it's pretty low and pretty clear. So 10 pounds should be clear enough. Should be pretty finessey. And then this is the Nico shrimp we're gonna be using today. Isn't that awesome? Be using it on the TT Lures EWG Nedlock Z jig head. Just a nice weedless presentation. Obviously, I'll be fishing on the grasses, but this is gonna be a smallmouth spotted bass, largemouth bass killer. And I'm gonna demonstrate it today. Hopefully that all works out. Let's bring this shrimp down the little current seam here and see what happens. What the? There we go. It works. There it is. A little largemouth bass. We'll take it. There you go, buddy. Stay down, buddy. Got a pretty nice little smaller here. Stay hooked, stay pinned. Let's go! Check that out. Well, I told you that has a solid small jaw. Nice. Let's get him back in the water there. Thanks for playing, buddy. There he goes. So the reason why I'm using these shrimp in freshwater is that not a lot of people realize that here in Ohio we have fairy grass shrimp in the Ohio River. And sure, we might not have them here in the Hawking River upstream this far, but you got to understand, I'm throwing a highly detailed Ned Rig. That's how you have to look at it. Ned Rig's just a stick little worm. This is a Ned Rig with a bunch of little appendages, eyeballs, little antennae. And you gotta think, when this is floating downstream, a little crustacean like this, fish are gonna destroy it. And I've already caught a few, uh, caught a small mouth and a large mouth already on it. And I, I just knew this was gonna be a special bait and something these fish have never really seen before. And it's got that clear color with the little orange flakes in it. So it's an awesome finesse presentation for the clear river systems that I fish and the creeks too. But you just gotta think about it like that. Like a lot of people would be like, no, I would never throw a saltwater shrimp lure in fresh water, why not? It's a creature bait. It's got tons of little detail like I've already said and the fish are loving it so far. All right, we've come downstream a little bit here in the Athens stretch. See if we can pick up more fish today on the Nico shrimp. There's a nice deep hole on the other side, right in front of those tree, that tree line right there. It's a nice cutout. We'll pitch this in there and see what happens. What up? We got here. What? Oh no! No 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 no! Little saw guy it looks like. Got him with the net. <laughs> Let's see what it is. It could be a little sauger. 
Oh, little saw guy. Right there on the shrimp. Little baby saw guy. Right here in the Hocking River. There you go, buddy. Swim the other way, man. That's pretty cool. There he is. He's freaking out. Got him. <laughs> Got a largey right here in this little pool. Munched on the shrimp. There's this little pool right here. It's about a foot and a half, two feet deep, and I keep seeing some fish patrolling back and forth. Sure enough, a little large mouth. There you go, buddy. What the? Ooh, another species. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, a little sauger on the shrimp. Right here at the end of the day. There you go, buddy. Go terrorize the little minnows. There's millions of minnows here along this bank. That's why I'm fishing here. Figured there'd be some fish in the two to three foot. Doesn't get too deep. It's a nice sandy bottom, so I ain't got to worry too much about snags or anything. And I'm just cruising the shrimp just off the bottom, and they're hammering it. Might even get into a bigger saw guy or sauger, or even a walleye too. If we were to get a walleye, that'd be awesome. They're in here. I've caught some nice walleye out of the Hocking River. Be pretty sweet. All right, we're gonna move spots. Go try another deeper hole that I know about along the river here. See if we can't catch some more species. So far, we're at largemouth, smallmouth, sauger, and saw guy. Four species so far on the shrimp, the saltwater lure. It's pretty interesting, and I might have to throw this more often. All right, so I just set my stuff down right here. I'm walking around waiting for the rain to subside or whatever. And I look down at my feet and look at this. I haven't even picked it up yet. I haven't even touched it. Unbelievable, guys. This is my first point I've ever found in my life. Check this out. Look how big that is. Unreal. I cannot believe I just found this. It's my first one ever. That's a pretty rare find right there how large that is holy smokes wow alrighty it's the next day kind of ran out of daylight last night and I want to see what other species we can get with the shrimp so we're gonna try this stretch right here and see what we can get into um, so far we got four species see if we can add to the list all right let's see what the scrimp can do The oh is this another species it might be a walleye we just got a walleye on the scrimp a little baby one but that's cool nonetheless a walleye <laughs> well we got all the perkins there he goes sauger saw guy and walleye out of the hocking river on the shrimp Incredible. Dude, what in the world? Uh, it's not a new species, but a little sauger. Dude, they are crushing the shrimp. This is insane. Insane. What is it about the toothy critters that love this little shrimp, man? I've only been fishing today for like 10 minutes and I already got two fish up on the bank. I don't know what it is about this, but they really like it. Ooh, just had another thump. Hooked up. Alright, this is officially a sauger, saw guy, walleye freaking magnet it's not a big sauger but it's a freaking sauger i've never caught so many sauger before at a time that's crazy we just got done it just got done raining too i don't know if that that probably helps a lot because the water temperature cooled down a little bit these fish are getting pretty active today's a great day to come out here i know that much this is a clear color with orange flakes orange glitter flakes i don't know if you guys can see that but these two little antenna 
when it's swimming through the water these things are like pulsating and I'm just kind of jigging it just like I would a Ned rig slow slow twitches and drags along the bottom so far that's what's working today hooked up There we go. Chill, bud. Another smallie on the shrimp. <laughs> Heck yes. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm using the super fast current over there. Slammed it. Little 10 incher. Here you go, buddy. We'll walk into another deeper hole. We're to see how many species we can get up with this shrimp. It's a nice little pocket here. Something over there chasing minnows. Hooked up. Hey, there's something over there chasing this. Oh, another species. Barely hooked. It's like a little hybrid. There you go, buddy. Seen something over there smashing on some minnows. Sure enough, little hybrid boy. Hooked up as soon as it hit the water. Oh, we're tied up to a stick. What do we got? Oh, another species. That makes seven. Spotted bass. Spotted bass. Heck yeah. Hooked up. Check it out in shin deep water. Nice little largey. That's awesome. If I get it close to the weed edge, usually I'm getting hit pretty good. It's a nice little chunker for this little shallow spot. There you go, buddy. Hooked up. Uh oh. We got species number eight on the shrimp. There it is, little channel cat. Felt pretty good in that current. They're tough little buggers. There you go, buddy. All right, everyone, we're going in the video right there on that channel catfish. Man, the shrimp put on a clinic here in the Hocking River, which I knew it was going to, to be honest with you. The profile's perfect, the size is perfect on the EWG Nedlock Z head and we absolutely killed it we caught i ended up with eight species we got saw guy walleye sauger spotted bass largemouth bass smallmouth bass hybrid striped bass it was awesome it's awesome catching fish on a bait you've never tried before and something that you usually wouldn't typically throw in fresh water like the shrimp and it proved to be successful and also if you would like to get yourself some shrimp to try out in your waters Use code CRAWLER10 with a capital C on the NicoFishing.com website. I'll link it down below in the description. Get some shrimp and try it out. You might actually enjoy it. I enjoyed it. It's going to be a staple in my pack from now on. Just because it's something these fish really haven't seen before. So, if you enjoyed the video today, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!